All right, so today in this video, we are going to learn how to use Google AI Studio and build our first website with it. It's basically another no code website builder from Google, similar to tools like Lovable or Cursor out there. But today, we are going to test it how well it works. And the best part is that you will get a built in AI features without using any external services. You can integrate directly with the Google's own API, including the Google video generation model and even the image generation models. So let's start. When you open Google AI Studio for the first time, you will see this page. Here you can describe your idea and choose the model you want to use. Currently there are two models available. First one is Gemini 2.5 Pro and the second one is Gemini 2.5 Flash. You will also see like a two TypeScript options here, Angular and the React TypeScript. You can choose whichever you prefer or simply you can just stick with the default settings. Once you selected your preferences, you can start describing your project idea whatever you have in mind. You can also attach images, text file or even the PDF if you want the AI to use them as a reference. For this demo, I am going to build a simple invoice creator. To get a better prompt for that, I will head over to ChatGPT and simply ask I need to build an invoice maker. Give me a prompt. Using a proper structured prompt usually gives a better result than describing everything in a basic word. So that's why we are going to use a proper prompt for it. So as you can see here, ChatGPT had started generating the prompt for us. This is the prompt we are going to use. It says build a modern responsive web application called invoice maker that allow users to create, edit and download in professional invoice easily. So we will use this prompt. Let's copy it and paste directly into Google Builder here. Once you paste it, the model will start thinking and processing your request. If you switch to the code section, you will be able to see the code once it's being generating. It's usually take around 10 to 15 seconds to think. After that, the code begins to appear. Now you can see the coding has started. It automatically generates everything for us. And within a couple of seconds, our website will be fully ready. We just need to wait for a minute or two while everything gets built. So let's wait and once it's done, I will show you the complete website. But before that, let me show you today's sponsor free waitlist. With free waitlist, you can create a waitlist in seconds using either code or no code. They have loads of built in templates. You can see the examples of real users who created theirs. And it's a simple and powerful tool that lets you integrate a waitlist directly into your website. If your website needs a waitlist, this is how clean and modern it looks like. To create your own waitlist, head over to free waitlist, link is in the description box below. When you open the website, you will see this interface. Just click on get started and it's free. Now name your waitlist since we are building an invoice tool. So let's call it invoice and hit continue. Next, choose how to collect sign up. If, you're, if you already have a website, you can choose it. If you don't have, you can just click on I don't have a website. If not, you can just choose a second option as I told you. I will select this one and now we will create our account. You can sign up using Google or the GitHub. Once you are inside the main dashboard, you can go and add to this website section. Here you will get a course sniper that you can paste directly into your website. All your signups and email data will appear in your dashboard. If you check the API section, you will find a sample code in a different language. You can customize a basic setting like signup field, background, colors and more. After customizing, you can just save it and copy the code and paste it into your website. This is how simple it is. You will also get a full dashboard where you can see all your sign up, export data as a JSON file or even delete user details. And if you want more features, you can upgrade to the $4 plan or continue using the free version if your needs are basic. Alright, let's get back to the main video. As you can see, our invoice tool is now ready. We can test it. Here you can see the preview of our invoice creator tool. We have the from and the two sections along with the input fields for name, address, email and the phone number. I will just enter some basic sample details here. These details are not real, I am just testing the tool. As you can see, we have option to add information for the both from and the two sections. We can also add invoice details as such as the invoice number, due date, issue date. We can even delete or add new items and we can even edit anything in this invoice. There's also like a inbuilt AI features that help us generate notes and thank you messages automatically. It's already integrated into the tool. So generating better descriptions or notes is now easy with this tool. You can delete all the items, add new items, generate a new summary or even create new notes. Everything is working smoothly. We can even download or send the invoice directly. When you click the send invoice, it allows you directly send to a email address or maybe if you want to add any third party integration, you can set it up from here. You can configure your own integrations as needed. So now you can see here, the tool is has generated a new notes for us as well. Now above the code section on the left side, Google also shows us the suggestions. These are the recommending like improvements you can make to your project. If you want to apply one of these suggestions, just click on it and it will automatically generate the prompt for it and it will automatically start making the changes for them. So you can see here I just sent this a new prompt and it will automatically change the updates for us. And now I will show you the next version once it's done. 
So now you can see in our second version, everything is more organized. Each section, items, parties, details, and the finalized section is nearly like a neatly separated. This makes it easier to enter information step by step without making the mistakes. We also have improved preview option. And if you want the actual code that Google generated for you, you can click on the download and you will download it directly into a file manager. Just click on the download button and click on save and the project will be saved to a file manager. From there, you can open it in a VS code and run a few basic commands and host the website anywhere you like. If you want your project to save to GitHub, just click on the GitHub button and sign in with your GitHub account. This lets you push your code instantly to do a GitHub. There's also share button. You can click it and you can just copy the share link. Let me show you. Just click on the share button here and copy the link and share it with anyone who wants to preview your site. Next, you also have the option to deploy the website. For that, you just need to cross this and let me show you. Just click on the deploy button here. And once you click on the deploy button, then you need to create a new project. Just click on the create project button and name it. Since this is an invoice creator, so we will just uh, call it invoice. And we will click on create new project and now you can see here our new project is created if you want to deploy this app directly from here you will need to like set up billing first you can just enter some basic information and the billing account will be activated after that you will be able to deploy the website if you want to make changes to a website at any time you can modify the code directly that we have just downloaded now if you go back and you can click on the gallery button here you will see websites created by the users and now you can see there's a pretty much website you can see here there's a cool website right here if you want to remix with them just click any of them and you can make changes to it and explore how they created how are their prompts you can just describe it from uh, like explore it from here if you click on the your app section here you will see all the apps created by you like we have created two apps so we can see these and if you want to build another apps like with the ai power you can see nano banana powered app creator controversial voice apps animate images with the video analyze image control image prompt based video generation and you can create and many of them apps using the ai integration that google provides you so this is like a very easy to create these days if you go in the api section you can create an api for the external project if you are creating the outside like google ai studio and you want to integrate the google gemini api you can create a new api keys from here just to give your api key a name like let's say test api click on the select your project you can choose the external or you can create a new project then click on create button and you will get an api key that you can use for projects like if you build something in the cloud maybe or maybe the lovable you can integrate this api key as well it's like a gemini api key and from here you can see the uses and all things from here so i hope you found this helpful if you have any doubts let me know in the comments i will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching